Good morning, YouTube. We are back in the sailfin room. The rest of that clutch that we showed you a sneak peek of has pretty much all left the egg. There's one egg left. Um, so Caleb's here, Yoshimi's here. Uh, this is like Yoshimi's favorite part of our business. <laughs> Every time we have sailfin, she's like, I'm coming in. So let's take a look. Hi guys! Hey. Here's the clutch. We've got them in a tote so that uh, it's safe to handle them. This room is not secure. There's lots of places they could get. So we like to put them in a tote um, just so that we can safely get them out and check them over before we put them away. We didn't actually do that with the first one. Probably should have. Probably. But we'll, we can get them back out. So yeah, at the point we're at now, we've had that first one that is already in the cage. We had a short little video that we put up a day or two ago. Uh, every single other sailfin from this clutch of six has pipped except for one, so we're going to pull these four out, put them with the one that's already out, and then check on that last egg that hasn't uh, pipped yet. So I'm sure they're all going to go crazy the second I pull this lid off. You got the camera ready? I'm ready. Oh, they got some energy out already, running around. They might try to nip at my hand. Oh, this guy's kind of That's mad a at feisty his, guy. His sibling here. He might try to bite me, but it doesn't right. hurt at this size, which is nice because it really hurts later. So if we can get them kind of chilled out at this age, then they become really nice pets. Let's see how they did on absorption here. There, that one's that one's totally perfect. totally yep. good. These so what he's checking for, guys, is to see uh, if they absorb their entire yolk. Um, and it looks like these guys did fantastic. A little bit left over there, you can see, but almost, I'd say even on that one and this one, a little bit. Maybe 20% of the yolk didn't get absorbed, maybe even less than that. So they did really well. Um, this one's pretty much Basically, empty. all of it. And that's completely absorbed. Yeah, so they did really well. Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to keep using this substrate because this has worked really well for worked us. Worked really well. So, it looks like they flipped it. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to candle this one and, and see where the embryo is. Or I guess it's not really an embryo anymore. But uh, about ready to go. We just don't want it to flip at the last minute and drown out. So pull this out and check on him after we're done. This guy's feisty. Yeah, this one little guy. He's trying to bite me. Ah! He is ferocious, isn't he? He thinks so, anyway. So, so they kind of stick their tongue out a little bit. Hey, it's okay. Before they bite. But their bite is at this size again. It's just cute. And sometimes they'll flare their mouth without actually biting at you just to kind of show their agitation. You got this? I don't want them to yeah, you got climb it. all the way out. This is why we use a tote. <laughs> yep. They are very quick, though. You got to be ready. Oh, they're so awesome. We got to get some pictures before we put them in the cage. So we're going to pull some roaches. We're going to play with these guys a little bit. And, uh... It's okay. Oh, they're so awesome. It makes a big difference working with them from when they're this size, too. Yep. They all look really healthy. Yep. No one's underdeveloped or anything, so we'll put these guys all in the in their cage and yeah. Let me show them the cage real quick. So this is the little enclosure we're using. You can see their their sibling who came out yesterday right at the top under the UV. We actually have UV without heat, and then we have heat over here that gets hotter. Um, some cork tubes all over the place, some sticks, cork on the walls. There's their water with rocks in it. And then we're gonna put some more roaches in there. And they'll be okay in here. What is this, two, about two feet by a foot and a half? By yeah. two or something like yeah. that? So it's real it's, small. I think it's 24, 24, 18. 
my guess. Okay. We, we just have to make sure they're all eating before we put them in something larger. We need to be able to keep very close track of all of them. We need it to be easy to find them and pull them out to check on them. Uh, but don't worry, they will be going into something larger, and we will be covering up uh, this glass so that they can't, you know, when they're on the ground, we don't want them crashing into the glass. That can hurt their noses. But uh, they'll, they'll do great in here for a little bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll pull out some, some roaches for them and get them all introduced together and check on that last egg. Yep. And post updates as we go. Cool. And we'll probably put some of these on Instagram too. Yeah. All right, guys. That is all for this video. That's our update on the sailfin clutch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, we're the Reptile Barn. Um.